Good day from Australia. I'm Trinity from 43 Blue Doors and today I'm going to show you how to change the fuel filter of a 1992 Toyota Coaster. The fuel filter is on the left side of the bus under the passenger door. With the coaster's high clearance there's no need to jack up the bus. This here is your fuel filter. Begin by disconnecting the wiring harness and then unscrew the filter. Be ready with a drain pan because fuel will leak out. After draining out all the diesel, we're ready for the next step. Unscrew the water separator. There's a special tool for this, but a pair of wide jaw pliers will do just fine. Remove the old rubber gasket. This is the new filter, part number right there. I bought this one off eBay. It comes with a new rubber gasket. Install the new rubber gasket and apply a little bit of diesel on it. Install the water separator into the new filter. Alright, so new filter is almost ready. Here's the old one. Quick side-by-side -side comparison. Looks like the new one will have more flow to it. This next step is entirely optional, but it will make your life easier. So I've got some injector cleaner. I will pre-fill the new filter with it. I will fill it halfway. Some people prefer to fill the whole thing, but it's really up to you. I will top it off with fresh diesel. This will essentially prime the filter so we don't have to manually do it later. Remember to put a dab of diesel on the rubber gasket. It'll make the install easier and helps to make a tight seal. We install the new filter, being careful not to spill the fuel that's already in it. When the filter makes contact with the mounting surface, then just do one full turn. This may vary depending on the manufacturer of the new filter that you bought. Reconnect the electrical harness for the water separator and just check for leaks around this area here. Quick side note, the fuel filter will capture water contaminants on your fuel line. And since water is heavier than diesel, which is essentially oil, all the water will accumulate on the bottom of the fuel filter. There is a float that will rise as the water accumulates and when it reaches a certain level it will trigger an alarm on your dashboard. If that happens you just have to unscrew this wing bolt a couple of turns, let all the water out and then tighten it back up again. Anyway, if you decided not to pre-fill the filter then you can use the priming pump, this black thing right here. And now it's time to start the bus. If you used injector cleaners the engine will rev at higher RPMs, but only for a few moments. The engine is running well, and it sounds good. Check for leaks at the top of the filter right here, and also at the bottom, near the water separator. No leaks, so we're done. We're good for another 20,000 kilometers. I hope this video was useful to you. Thanks for watching. Right now, it's time to get back on the road.